Hello relatives, welcome to this week's Schlagbite for the week November 26, 2012, entitled Special K for Depression. The theory about what causes depression is that it's a disease caused by a dysfunction in the brain's neurotransmitters. Antidepressant drugs restore that dysregulated chemistry and gets the system back into balance. However, in one out of three patients, those medications don't work. And in the modern practice of psychopharmacology, that demands that other drugs be added, like anti-seizure medications or atypical antipsychotic drugs, and those work by an entirely different mechanism. A new treatment has just been announced, and it's called the biggest breakthrough in depression research in half a century. Scientists have prescribed ketamine for chronically depressed patients. Ketamine is a drug that's usually used as a pre-anesthetic and often used in veterinary medicine as well, but it has hallucinogenic qualities. Among club goers, it's called Special K, and they love using it because they're looking for its dreamlike high. It's not clear how the ketamine works. But it's clear that it's different than whatever the existing formulations. And researchers think that it regenerates synapses, those are the connections between brain cells that have become damaged by stress and chronic despair. Synthetic mind-altering chemicals like ketamine, LSD, MDMA, ecstasy, in addition to all kinds of natural, organic psychoactive substances that can be found in cacti, in vines, weeds, mushrooms, flowers, even animal skins. They've been used since antiquity in the treatment of mental problems. They've been used more recently in the treatment of addictions and post-traumatic stress disorder. And they are used by a host of visionary seekers. I once used it for a dying patient who was crippled by end-of-life anxiety for whom it provided profound relief. And I've talked about that in my new book, Kindling Spirit, Healing from Within, if you want to read it in detail. The New York Times Magazine, in April of this year, featured an article in which psilocybin, which is the psychoactive agent in magic mushrooms, was given to 12 seriously depressed cancer patients, and every one of them reported significant relief of symptoms. The brain is hardwired for mystical experience. We are biologically programmed to have visionary experience. Hallucinogenic drugs activate that portion of the brain that fuzzes the boundaries between the real world and the imaginary one. It serves an important function, and healers have always known this. You can get into that altered state naturally by chanting, drumming, dancing, rituals, and ceremonies. They are all ways that open channels into that part of the brain that allows us to see the world from an entirely different perspective. My concern about this research is that Big Pharma is surely going to want to pursue this route and is going to market this as the next panacea for whatever ails you. Don't get sucked into another pill that promises to remove the lampshades of fear, doubt, sadness, and anxiety, because there are many more organic ways to lift the spirit. Find them. In this season of thanksgiving and renewal, look around, make connections with all those things that remind you that you are not here alone in the world. Stay connected. And in this holiday season, I wish you well, peace and blessings. I say this for all my relations. Mitakuyasi.